New tonight at 10, what may be lost in the most wonderful time of the year is the stress and struggles people face, especially among those recovering from addiction. News 9's Isaac Dinesen is live in the newsroom now with tips on how to get through this part of the year. Yeah, that's right. Most of what experts are saying revolves around being open about what you're going through with people you trust and also yourself, though it may be hard. Many this time of year can be one of happiness. For others, it can be more challenging. If you start to add in uh, any addiction and or mental health needs, it can also just add a lot of stress. With lots of opportunities for gatherings, those recovering from addictions might have a hard time. It's very important to think about the environment you're going to be in, the people, places, and things kind of thing. If the environment doesn't feel right for the given time, experts recommend saying something, since people might be more accommodating than you think. It's okay to say, I'm sorry, I can't make that or right now my health just doesn't allow for that. If there's pressure to fulfill certain roles from previous years that don't apply to you anymore, speak up. Growing up and, and mama and grandma saying, um, oh, finish your plate, eat everything, eat everything, eat everything. It's okay to say no. And there are several forms of technology that can be used if you need help staying on track, like this one called Sober Tool which connects people with positive affirmations and more tips to stay sober. With the holidays being a time where many figuratively count their blessings, Blanchard recommends physically doing it. To make a small gratitude list. It keeps us grounded into what we are truly thankful for. Now, apart from all this, there are 24-hour resources available for anyone in need of help. We have much more in this story on our website, waow.com. Live in the newsroom, Isaac Dinesen, News 9, WAOW.